hope you are having a fantastic day. I wanted to share some tips with you. So one of the things I've been pondering recently is about your reports and how you use them to help you make decisions. So if we've never met before, hi, I'm Candace Camper, and I love to help business owners and bookkeepers create confidence with QuickBooks. And I'm curious if you've been using your reports to help you make decisions, or if you've been thinking about them more as like a tax time thing, you know, often we think about QuickBooks as just tax time. And I want to inspire you to start thinking about what's possible that you can be using it for. So I actually have my QuickBooks up and I thought we would take a little toodle around both desktop and online and I would show you some things. So when you're in your QuickBooks, it's common to think of it just for tax time. So hopefully you've pulled a report. If you haven't, uh, I'll walk you through some of the steps today. I'm going to be doing a workshop um, later this week and next week that you can attend. Um, if you aren't familiar with your reports, where I'll be talking more about them. Um, so you're going to go to reports, company financial, profit and loss standard, if you're on the desktop version, and then you're going to be choosing a time frame, right? So let's just say this is my sample file for my training. Let's just do... We'll, we'll just leave it at this. This is fine. So what this gives you is just an example of what's happening in your business. And it's a very summary format that it gives you. And so one of the things that I love to encourage you to think about is what are my reports saying and what is it telling me to help me make decisions? So back in 2020, we hired a gentleman as a coach or as a consultant, I would say, to come in and look at our business. And we used our quick reports, quick books reports to do that. So some of the questions he asked me was like, what are the different products and services that you offer? How much revenue was generated in those? How much was generated in the past year? Uh, where are you at in the current year? That kind of thing. But what it helped us do is really make business decisions. And so we were able to go back and look at some of those and we were able to make some changes. We were able to remove some products that weren't or services that weren't really supporting as many people as we wanted and focus then more on the ones that were. So I'm curious, are you looking at your QuickBooks through this lens? The one that cannot just give you the data at tax time, but all year long to help you make decisions. Let me know in the chat if you're here live or if you're catching the replay. Mm -hmm do you look at it? So there's a couple different reports that I recommend, and some of them are outside of the profit loss. So when I first started teaching QuickBooks a few years ago, <laughs> um, I used to say, you know, you could enter your data in. There's There are three different ways to enter your data in QuickBooks, and that whether you hit record here and went and did a summary format, created a sales receipt or created invoice, it didn't really matter. And the more and more I work with businesses, the more I use QuickBooks, even in my own business, we've used it for a few of our businesses. I, I've realized that taking the time to do a little more data entry will give you some extra reports that I absolutely love and that will help you be able to make decisions for your business. So for those of you, if you are a online user, let me share my screen with you. Here we go. So if you're wanting to know how to pull your profit loss, you're going to go under reports. I want you to think I'm leaving you out. Profit and loss here. So if this is under business overview. You can always hit the little star and add it to your favorites as well if you want, but we'll click on profit and loss. And this is where you can start looking at your numbers. And I want you to think about, there's many different things about designing your QuickBooks and knowing the date range that you pull, what cash basis or accrual basis, the method you pull, all that. Those are the things I'm actually gonna be teaching in my workshop. So if you're not familiar with those or you wanna really get QuickBooks figured out this year, recommend you save your seat. Um, I'll be doing a training um, on that. So what you wanna look at is like, what is this data telling you? Is it something you can actually read and understand? Because if you're entering all the data, whether you're a bookkeeper or a business owner, and you're not able to actually read it to help you make decisions because it's overcomplicated or it's just not designed in a way that gives you the data you need, I would encourage you to start looking at it differently and not just at tax time. Okay. So let me know. Have you been thinking about your QuickBooks this way? I remember, or is this something new? I remember when I was working, before I ever started my own business, I worked at a petroleum company. And one of the things that they told me is that the tankers where they would do like a big fuel delivery to gas stations was what they called their bread and butter. And the they also did kerosene deliveries to homeowners or diesel fuel to farmer, 
farmers or different things like that. And they said, that's not really where we make our profitability. And as I've become a business owner and watched other business owners, I realize how vital it is to know what products and services are creating the most revenue for you. What are the ones to be focused more on? And maybe you are been spending time on different products and services that don't really generate you the revenue that they need to be for the amount of time that you're spending in them. Okay. Those are the things that QuickBooks can give you through different reports, different ways you design it. So you can make decisions, right? That's like the thing, because you guys know probably, or you may or may not know, I love to teach QuickBooks, but I don't do taxes. And so I always look at QuickBooks beyond just tax time as what can I make decisions with? How can I start customizing it so that whether you're a bookkeeper doing it for a business owner or a business owner, what do you actually need to see on your reports to help you make decisions? So we're going to start talking about that on a class that I'm teaching. If you'd like to attend, this is something that interests you. Make sure you go to CandiceCamper.com. I think I have it. Yeah, that's a workshop I'm going to be doing. And sorry, I took it off. You can register to attend at going to CandiceCamper.com forward slash workshop. It is a free training that I'm hosting, but it's going to teach you more about how to pull a profit and loss, how to be able to go in and understand what you're looking at. So there's pillars to your profit and loss, like where does the data come from? How can you drill down and find out more of what it's saying? And then what are some of the reports that I recommend that you add beyond your profit and loss to help you actually know what products and services you're offering? So I look forward to seeing you. Let me know if you're going to attend the workshop, what you're most excited to learn or get figured out this year with your QuickBooks. And I will see you soon. Thank you for being part of my community. And I'll be back with another tip and trick. Toodaloo. See you soon. Bye.